Hello everybody, this is Toy Zaros, so and welcome to another edition of Transformer Facts Friday. This is the second weekly roundup show that I like to do on this channel, which again gives me the perfect opportunity to do exactly that. Keep you guys updated with things that are going on in the world of Transformers. I let you know what's happening with this YouTube channel. And of course, I let you know what's happening with my Instagram, which is toys underscore rus. Very quickly, before I forget, thanks to all the new channel members who've just signed up. Don't forget to drop me a message on the community page on YouTube and I can send you your link to the private discord that we've got but in the meantime let's just crack on with the rest of the news so dk uh, dna sorry dna designs have got a upgrade kit for your studio series core class rc this is one of their most simple upgrade kits i think i've ever seen it is just an additional blaster which means that she now has two obviously so you can recreate that scene in the movie where she's got her two blasters so for those of you who don't know much about dna it's exactly that it's a design upgrade kit sometimes they do gap filler sometimes they do extra weapons and sometimes they do kits which you build up and make you know pretty phenomenal figures with to be honest right metagate are teasing with a huge fire fully transparent clear edition so this is an unofficial transformer 6 so that is yes it is it's bumblebee isn't it that is bumblebee uh this uh, that's getting mixed up with the movies this is their clear version so i've got a lot of trepidation about this uh, i've got this information let me show you there from t formers and they are teasing us with this not no more concrete information on price and everything yet However, it does look good. I don't know what it is with these translucent figures. I just really like them. And I think that, let's be honest, as long as the plastic quality is good, as long as it's not brittle, um, I think that they really do work. Talking to third party and amazing figures, this is all three of the, I don't know if it's got a special name, like obviously in G1, or they've got the Battle Stars, which is the platform. But this is the Armada, this is fans' hobby take on Armada Prime, Jetfire and Overload. This is all the full color toys. So they've been teasing us with this for absolutely ages now. Uh, we've basically we've had prototype color images. We've had um, loads of different things. This is all three in all glorious colors with their mini cons, with them combined. I've got this information on these images from Fans Hobby's Facebook page direct. Um, and again, they are brilliant figures by the looks of it. And hopefully if you've got this on pre-order, this is whetting your appetite. Um, these are masterpiece scale figures as well, by the way, guys. So they're going to be huge. The fully combined mode is going to be something, yeah, ginormous. Until like as soon as I get some full dimensions, I will of course let you know. Uh, just a quick reminder: they don't use the proper names because uh, they are not licensed by Hasbro or Takara because they transform, so they have to change the name. Just a quick scout on some of the Weibo pages. Doctor Wu is of course letting us all know that these have been shipped. I can't wait to do my reviews on them. There's some more pictures of them. These are MicroMaster scale figures, which look brilliant. And then just very quickly, a quick reminder about this that I did yesterday. Check out all of the videos um, and everything that's going on with this 40th event in Japan. It's only just sort of, I suppose they're only teasing us. There's nothing else apart from this limited edition figure and a couple of other things that we know is gonna be available to get from there. But again, I will be bringing you all the information as and when it happens. Right, talking of things that we've probably, some of us have already seen, uh, but I like to always showcase this. So in Japan, Takara told me they uh, issue or they release their figures in a different, I suppose, chronological order to the rest of the world. They also call them TL, Takara Legends, rather than just have them all in different categories. And for this reason, sometimes they get figures before us, like they did with Beast or Silverbolt. And in this particular case, like most of the others, we get them a bit, they get them a bit later. So this is their latest set of pre-orders. Most of these we've already seen. Uh, but I just wanted to again share these images with you because they've got a few different ones that we haven't seen. So as I'm scrolling through these, again, just reminding you exactly what was said uh, via Takara Tomi in the Masterpiece toy line, which was, of course, this is just the standard Jinrai, by the way. You can tell by the little figure here. I'll show you that when we get to God, uh, Super Jinrai in a second. So this uh, Jinrai number 60 is the last Masterpiece figure to be released in the MP toy line. So that's what you get with just Jinrai. There he is. Um, and then uh, they're all going to be moving to MPG, which is, of course, the toy line they started. There you are. There's the Super Jinrai one. Slightly different colour deco on him. Uh, what was I saying? With the train bots, obviously. So this is going to be number nine. That's because we've had six train bots um, and a couple of reissues in the Diaclone colours. The base looks fantastic. I'm loving the effects. Wait till you see these ones in a minute. The sub from Super God Master Force. Them electrical effects there. When you put these on the figure... I think that looks amazing and I'm sure we're going to see some fantastic pictures uh, made by people who do amazing photos. Um, way better than me, 
using them. So that's all the big news coming out from that. Uh, this again, I suppose, is adding fuel to the fire that we are expecting a Transformers 1 trailer on April the 18th. So this is from the Hollywood Handle, from their Twitter or X account, I think it is. It says that the first trailer is to be as pretty much expected on April the 18th. Just a quick reminder, obviously the Transformers G1 cartoons are in the cinema on the Wednesday. Um, I know that in Telford they're doing screenings on the Saturday and the Sunday as well. So I'm gonna hopefully take my little boy uh, to go and watch them as well. So keep your eye on the, on the screen dates because it looks like there's gonna be multiple um, showings, which is brilliant. This, this is really good actually, to be fair. I obviously have never spoke to the person, I don't really know him. I just remember seeing some of the videos of John Warden himself uh, I suppose the most notable video for me that I remember of him was when he was gushing all over the uh, Combiner Wars Devastator figure. Uh, so he's back, he's rejoined the Transformers brand team. So on his, um, again, I think it's Twitter, I don't have Twitter. He's put, I'm happy to share that I'm starting a new position as Director of Product Design at Hasbro. So managing Hasbro's historic Transformers fan focused toy lines. So generations and studio series as well as G.I. Joe and classified toy lines. Um, there must be so much going on at the moment and I don't know they're all keeping up to be honest but again a nice addition there um, and a familiar face from again all them years ago right this whether it was done intentionally or not I don't know uh, so this could be the um, how Orion Pax is going to look or the Optimus Prime popcorn bucket for uh, Transformers 1 so there was a thing what was the exact event let me just read it quickly so cinemacon instagram uploaded a presentation of some new officially licensed popcorn buckets and basically in the background so there's there guys cinemacon there is the popcorn bucket and if you have a look there in the background that obviously isn't the optimus prime they use for rise of the beasts so whether or not it was intentional whether or not it was a, in, again an intended easter egg that looks like it could be how Orion Pax is going to feature in the movie. So we wait to see exactly what that looks like. Right, a couple more third party things. This again is a no brainer because like Hasbro and Takara, every third party company do this. So New Age are releasing, I'm gonna use their proper names because I always forget what, what the names they use in RNEO. So because they've had Pipes and Huffer, it made perfect sense for us to get Road Ranger, which was of course the GoBot. So she looks amazing here. It's just a redeco of the Huffer mold which you can tell, um, I've done an actual video on the original of this, if you wanna see it, it was with the eHobby GoBots, uh, but I'm sure this is gonna sell really well as well. Um, once again, as I say, it's made by New Age Toys, so because it transforms, they're not allowed to use the correct name. This has just popped up as well, these, these are incredible. Again, I've still got no confirmation, but what I'm presuming is that they are shattered glass versions of the stylized Predacon. So I'm currently reviewing the gold ones. I've just done Firmament, which is an insane figure. It's one of the best figures I think I've ever had the, the joy to play around with. But um, it looks like, as we predicted, there's no point doing one in a purple and green color. They're all gonna be released in this color as well. So this is Firmament, which is their take on a stylized dive bomb, masterpiece scale size, so huge. And this is, again, the new release of them in the crazy purple green color scheme. Looks fantastic. Uh, the wingspan on it is huge. I've reviewed, as I say, the gold one, if you want to see that on here, guys. Type in Kang Toys or check out the Kang Toys playlist. Um, very, very good figure. And of course, comes with the accessory, which is genius. That is uh, the crab that you make up from the hands of the combined form. Right, if you want to see where you can get these from and help the channel out, this is Shozy's pre-order page. You can see there we've got Super Jinrai. You can see we've got the Magic Square Dinobots. Funnily enough, there's New Age Huffer and Pipes. We've got the other Jinrai. We've got DX9 figures. There's the Kang Toys ones I've just shown you. There's the Fans Hobby Star Saber. There's everything on here apart from mainline generations and studio series. There's Yolo Park, 3-0, Masterpiece, Masterpiece Movie. That's the tracks from Star Toys that we saw not so long ago. Iron Factory's Leo Kaiser, Masterpiece take on skids and mud flap. There is loads on there, guys. And if you wanna help me and help yourselves by getting some points, head to the homepage, which looks a bit like this. Sign up for your own account and then pop Toys R Us in the bar there. Right, with regards to videos, I've got the new New Age decos of Sea Sprays mold. I've got some transformation process videos I've been so far behind in doing. I'm just probably gonna drip them on as and when. Um, and yeah, hopefully I'll say the rest of my Legacy Wave too.
arrives at some point this weekend. You may or may not be able to tell. I'm a little bit under the weather, so I'm gonna do my best to keep up with things, but if I don't, and my voice does eventually go, then I've got loads of pre-recorded shorts, old or new, music to match the thing. So if you don't hear or see much from me, but I'll still be uploading regularly because I've got quite a few saved excuse me, um, in, the, in the bank ready to just to put up for eventualities like this. As always though guys, huge thank you for all the support. Take care.